so hi good morning welcome to the studio today it's monday morning and i've just got in and i'm just settling into my week i'm going to try and have a little bit of a quieter week this week because i have actually been working quite a lot this weekend so i've kind of slobbed out and chilled out as well but i've also been doing quite a lot of admin and the other thing that I've had to do as well is obviously sort out the giveaway names which are going in the hat. Now, I wasn't expecting quite so many entries. So obviously I've had to change the plan a little bit of how I'm going to manage putting the names in the hat. So originally I was going to handwrite each name and then put it in the hat. So because there's so many, I thought what I would do is copy and paste the names into a document and then print it off, cut them out and put them in the hat. So I've been copying and pasting names from the YouTube and then copying and pasting names from the Instagram as well. So it has been quite a lot of work. And the other thing about it is I want to make sure I get each and every entry so that I don't forget anybody. Um, anyway, I've gone through it a couple of times and I'm pretty sure I've got everyone so far. So I need to look at that again this morning. So I actually closed the doors last night at midnight. Um, in order to give myself enough time to process all the entries and put them all in the hat ready for this week's draw. So, let's have some coffee. I'm not really sure how this video is going to turn out actually because I'm not doing very well with my camera work this morning. Anyway, hopefully the technology will level itself out because I, um, yeah, I want, to <laughs> I want to hopefully do quite a nice little video this week, but here, but hey, and I thought I might do a little studio tour this morning because I haven't done a studio tour um, before. I've had a couple of requests for it and it's really fun nosing around somebody's studio or creative space. I love doing that myself. So I'll try and make a nice little video, a little tour for you. Um, one important thing to say though is it's a mess. So this is uh, real life in the Wendy studio. Um, in a way, it would have been nice to tidy up so that you could see it all aesthetically nice and, you know. But um, yeah, this is messy studio, which is kind of how I work. Um, and then once every couple of months, I'll have a blitz and tidy everything up so it feels really fresh and clean and yummy. Um, but I don't do that on a daily basis at the moment because my head's down in work so much and I'm in that creative zone, in the zone, if you like. So what I'm finding is that because the studio here um, versus the home studio is so much bigger and I've got different surfaces to work on, I'm actually doing okay in the mess. But I just wanted to sort of preempt this studio tour with the fact that it's not going to be particularly aesthetically pleasing. Um, it's real, real life um, and it is what it looks like now. Um, I'm okay with it at this level. It's not super messy. It doesn't feel out of control to me, but at the same time, it's getting very close to that point where I need to do a really big blitz. Hmm. So don't judge me too harshly anyway. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love watching those studio tours that are super aesthetically pleasing and everything's so tidy and neat and in place and there's little jars and everything's all organized. I love watching those. Um, but that's not me, so I can't pretend that it is. So this is Wendy Robinson's studio tour, take one. Um, I'll probably do a recap of this every sort of six months or so, because I do change my studio around a little bit as well here and there. Um, and it's nice to see the e evolution of that, if you like. So this is the situation in the studio today, and I'll turn the camera around and uh, show you what's what. So if I just come out, I'll show you. So this is the door, this is where I come in. And then there's like a sofa here, which I don't get a chance to use at the moment. And then I've put this kind of screen up to give me a bit of um, privacy. Um, and it's just literally hung up from a wire that James put up for me. And then I've got another curtain this side. So if I'm working with a one-to-one -one student or I'm just really getting my head down, I can shut everything out. It's quite nice to have that. And then I've got this little board here with my tuition poster and my little market sign that I made. And then let's start this end then. So basically I'll do a little pan around so you can see 
<laughs> the state of it. There's stuff everywhere. It's really, I promise I haven't touched anything. I haven't tidied up at all. So that's the little um, pan around. So if I come back to things that are on the right of me, this table here is my packing table at the moment. So I was using the whole table to pack all my orders on, um, which is nice to have a clean, dry, safe space to pack things like prints and artwork and cards. Um, but I've had to delegate a good chunk of the table now to my, to my oil painting, because um, I didn't have space in my other painting area, which I'll show you in a minute. And then I have one of my paintings on the wall and then my notice boards. Well, one of my notice boards is just hanging over my, my dummy there, so it should be actually on the wall, but it's not. So again, I'm not gonna move things. And then on here, so yeah, I've got all my packing stuff. These are the prints that are going to be posted out this week to the winners of the competition. And then I've got, yeah, some cards and prints kind of stock. It's not all my stock because some of my stock's underneath the table in a suitcase and I'll show you that in a minute. And then as we move around the table I've got the, uh, the Tricky Mermaid which I haven't touched in three or four weeks now. I think it's three weeks because I haven't had time and also I haven't got any oil paints ordered yet either and I'd quite like to work over her face and body and make the corrections with oil paints. I think that'll work really well over the um, acrylic that I've done so far. So that's why I haven't touched her. Sorry, little Miss Mermaid. And then, yeah, so I've got my, this is all my postal receipts um, that I've actually processed. I did those last week. And then I move around to my shelving unit. So basically, my shelving unit goes quite high and all the way down there as well and up there that's all my jewellery and craft materials so I was making a lot of earrings and some necklaces as well so all that's up there which I haven't touched in months to be honest because of lockdown and because I haven't had time recently due to everything else that's going on and then across there, on that shelf there, that's where the rest of my art journals and some books are stored. Um, so journals I'm not working in right now. And, and then I've got some boxes. I'm not sure what's in those boxes, to be honest. And a polystyrene head. <laughs> uh, I've got my notice board up, so let's just take that down. Uh -huh. and, and also I've got this mirror here um, which I use to um, draw so I can use like draw, draw myself um, if I need to do certain poses and things like that so a mirror is really handy to have and then hang on a sec I'll just move the mirror out of the way so yeah now I've moved the mirror out of the way uh, in here, this is all my sewing kit um, and some plastic tablecloths that I used to use for art class. I've also got a floor um, sort of spongy thing which I put on the floor if I'm working on the floor to protect my knees. I often do work on the floor. And then, and then this shelf, the next one down, is um, bigger paper. Um, so I've got papers art papers and that's a painting from one of my ex-students so we need to get that back to him um, and I've got a couple of paintings and some drawing paper and yeah a few bits and bobs that I was using for art class seems like a million miles ago and then down another shelf I've got collage boxes and that's tea and biscuits in there for that was for art class so we used to have tea and snacks so that's what's in that bag and then if I go down one so that box there I'm not quite sure what's in there it's full of mis miscellaneous items which basically are from my studio several years ago 
So before we left and sold our house and ran away in a van, um, there's still items in that box that I haven't actually processed yet. So yeah, I'm probably not going to go in that box because that's a scary box. And then this little pile of things here is um, art supplies and things I used to use in art class. So I kind of stashed those away down there because obviously I'm not doing the in-person art classes anymore um, due to the lockdown, um, lockdowns, shall we say. So yeah, I've just stored those down there so they're out of the way really. And then if I go uh, under the table, so it's not very interesting, but let's, I'll just show you, my, there's my sewing machine there in that box, which I haven't had time to get out in quite a long time. And then there's a fold up bucket on top of that. And those are my bags that I bring with me um, with my stuff from home. And then the next shelf up, um, this is a pile of frames, empty frames. And I think that's it in that pile. Yeah, so it's just a pile of frames and my car keys and then here I have a kind of drinks and snacks corner so there's like tea water um, and there's even a bottle of wine there which has been it's, it's that's been there since last Christmas because it's mulled wine so it might be get it might get used up for this Christmas I'm not sure mm, there's obviously my little photo of James and then I've got some water I always keep hydrated and then in these baskets here, I've got these baskets which are kind of um, full of stationary items. Um, so I've got like leaflets that I used to have for art class, um, a little pot of pens, calculator, stapler, things like that, a pile of uh, hankies and some pegs, very useful. Pegs are so wonderful. And then the next shelf up, what have I got? I've got that is some plastic wallets and then in there are resources for art class and this box is i think office admin stuff in that one and then i've got some filing stuff as well so this is sort of office stuff and stationary stuff yeah so we've done all the way up there and then what's next mm. So yeah, then I have my main um, desk, which you've seen me working at loads if you've watched other videos. And this is where I do my drawing, my art journaling, um, a lot of my drier media stuff. So I have a wet painting area, which I'll show you in a minute, but this is where I do um, the kind of artwork. Sometimes I use paint and sometimes I do use water, but it's mainly my dry cleaner um, table. And then, I, and then I use this side of my desk to work at my computer and do my admin and my editing and things like that. And I've obviously got these lovely windows to work under. And yeah, it's a really nice little spot in the studio to work. And I was using a fold up chair, but now I've got this wheelie chair from one of the offices. Um, it wasn't being used, so I borrowed it because I was using like fold up camping chairs for Gosh, I've been in here over two and a half years now. So yeah, I wanted a little bit more of a comfy um, and permanent chair. And because it's got wheels as well, it's really um, handy to um, get about my space from different um, areas really quickly. And it's also really fun to uh, spin around on as well. Um, so yeah, what's on my desk then? So I've got a basket full of ribbon, uh, which I've been using for the Altered Books project. Uh, a pile of the canvas squares, uh, which I haven't had time to make any more recently. Um, so I've got that on my list. And then I've got a lot of um, the journaling and altered books uh, supplies out here. Um, and the Art Nouveau as well, which I was working on last week. So this is the uh, project area. And I've got baskets of pens, what's in there? Twines and ribbons, washi tape. Um, that's my order book and then I've got the altered books that I'm altering and various art supplies that I'm, I've been using um, in those projects so they're all out ready for me to uh, continue this week for this week's video so I don't have to get everything out and I know it doesn't look that welcoming to sort of have it in that sort of pile situation but I kind of know where everything is so it, it works for me and then just behind 
uh, stuck to the windowsill. I have all my inspiring postcards and pictures um, and obviously the plant babies. Not all my plant babies are back yet uh, because I, I wasn't completely 100% sure that we weren't going to have another lockdown and the building was going to get closed. So a, a few of my plants are still at home, but I did bring in three of them just to have something growing in this window. Um, and things get on really well in this window. Everything's looking really good. I repotted the geranium last week because she was the only plant that I didn't get a chance to repot um, in the spring. I didn't have a pot big enough and because of the lockdown and everything it, it felt like such a mountain to climb to go and get a pot the right size but I managed to do that la last week so I've, I've repotted her and she's much happier now so yeah I like my happy plants and then that's my big tripod which isn't mine it's James's most of my equipment um, I've borrowed from him um, because I haven't really got technical stuff <laughs> so a lot of the things are actually not mine they belong to James so he's very sweet lending me stuff and then I've got all my mobiles hanging in the window and I've got some bells and a dream catcher that my sister got me and various little dangly things that I've been given or bought over the years, my mobiles, and then that one says, peace, peace mobile. Uh, yeah. And then over here, so let's just step back a bit. So over here I have my cupboard, which I painted white quite, quite recently. If you've seen that video, it was when I came back into the studio after lockdown and I just had a a bit of a rejig of everything and I just freshened up that cupboard which was painted quite a dark colour so I refreshed it with just a few coats of white emulsion and I much prefer it now and you'll notice the shelves are fairly empty and that's because a lot of my art supplies are at home and this shelf is where I keep most of my art supplies when they're not in use so they're not down there and then they're not over here so that's where they kind of should live. They have a home when not in use. But yeah, quite a few of my art supplies are still at home um, in my home studio. I haven't transferred everything back here yet. So it's just a work in progress and I'm sure it'll happen at some point. And then in the drawers I've got, in this drawer is mm, tools and screws and wood glue and tape measure and things like that. And then I don't even know what's in this drawer. More of the same. Uh, my favorite hammer. <laughs> I've had that hammer for years uh, and various other tools kind of things. And then that cupboard, uh, it's supposed to house my stock. So my prints and my cards because it keeps everything dry and clean and dust free. Um, but at lockdown, I, I actually took all my stock home. So currently my stock is underneath the table in these two suitcases um, and I have to transfer the prints and cards that are in there into the cupboard but again I haven't had time to do that yet so I'll get round to that at some point so that's that cupboard done so moving on now to this area here and this is where I do my messy wet work and also my larger paintings and that area at the end is where I store my canvases that I haven't worked on yet or that I've just started working on um, it's just like a storage area for those really and then this part is I can stick things on the wall or I can hang canvases up and I can work really well in a really messy way I don't have to worry about making a mess on the desk and I can just quite happily uh, wheel my chair over or sometimes I stand and work and then I've got a really nice space to really sort of spread out and stretch my arms um, if I'm doing larger pieces rather than with close work when you're just using your wrist. Um, this is a space to really sort of move my body, move my arm when I'm, when I'm creating um, larger things. So that helps me get really loose and I'm not worrying about splashing <laughs> paint everywhere because um, 
yeah, it's um, it's allowed around there, and I and I will whitewash that again uh, at some point because there is on along this surface there is um, paint everywhere, but that doesn't bother me at all. And and obviously wearing my overalls means that it doesn't matter if I splash myself as well. So I usually end up with paint all over my face. Um, yeah, so <laughs> and then under here I have got got some kitchen roll, a stool, random box there, which is quite a good size. So I kept it. I do recycle packaging. That box contains my um, things for my market, um, which obviously I haven't used this year because of lockdown. So that's uh, got the market things in there and that keeps that out of the way. And then those boxes there, that houses all my fabrics some saris, some materials that I really like. And then further on, if I can just get down there, I have got, I think that box down there is full of charity shop items, but the charity shops are closed, so I can't drop them off. That's my car cover, which I'm actually going to get rid of. So I'll probably sell that really cheaply somewhere. And then those boxes over there in that basket, that basket's really sentimental because all of my brothers and sisters and me, as babies, that was our Moses basket. Um, and my mum gave me that and I absolutely love it. So it's really sentimental. And that's storing some soft um, fabrics and some cushions in there, I think, um, which I, I made. And then that box under there is another box for the charity shop. And then that bag is another box for the charity shop. So I did a big declutter during lockdown and got rid of loads and loads of stuff. And I got to that point. Um, so that's just the bits that, of decluttering that I've got left to do. And that's about it. I think I've shown you everything. So sorry that it is such a mess again. Um, it's, it's a beautiful space. Um, the light's incredible to work at um, and the atmosphere in the room's lovely as well. I won't show you the whole room because there are other artists working in here and creators um, and it's their private space so I won't go into all that. But yeah, it's a really beautiful, amazing space and I, I'm very, very blessed to have come across it when I moved here. Um, I got this before we got somewhere to live. So it was, it was absolute heaven to be living in the van, but being able to spread out creatively for the first time in several years. So it, it really, really was amazing. And to be honest, I still feel exactly the same about it. Um, I'm really, really lucky and I'm really, really happy. And it's definitely one of my major happy places. So I hope that little tour was okay and the camera work was uh, not too wobbly. I did try my best um, and, that, and that's my studio, so yeah. So what am I going to do today? Um, I haven't had a chance to make a plan yet, so I've got my planner ready and I'm going to do a little plan of what I'm going to do today. Um, I did make a little list last night because I had overwhelm. Um, with everything I've got to do this week. So in order to be as productive as possible, I need to do the brain dump thing where I just write everything into my journal. So this morning, I'm gonna look at the brain dump and see if I can kind of make some sense of it and organize my week um, so that I can get as much done as possible. So one of the things I'm definitely gonna get on with this morning is to finish off putting those names on my documents like I was explaining before and print them off and maybe start cutting those out as well. But I also want to start filming for the Patreon as well this week. So I'm going to get a little bit of filming done as well for that. And I've changed my schedule a little bit this week, which is really, really discombobulating for me. I'm very much a creature of habit. I like my routines to stay exactly the same as much as possible. Um, and I don't like to be swayed from that too much either. And the older I get, uh, the worse it is really. Um, but I just like to feel steady and balanced and centered with my little routines. So, but I'm changing something up just to see if it'll work because I'm finding um, that at the beginning of the week, I've got so much to do. So I'm gonna try and organize myself a little bit differently this week. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna get on with that and um, we'll have to see. So I just wanna say thank you as well to each and every one of you that, that entered into the giveaway and for taking the time to do all the things you had to do to, in order to enter and leaving me again, the most amazing, wonderful, lovely comments. 
Um, I'm, I'm so blessed to have those comments, I really am. And I've tried to answer as many as possible. Um, and if I haven't answered, I'm really sorry, I will try and get to it. Um, but there's so many now that it's really difficult to get to everyone. But please know that I read every single comment anyway. Um, and I will try to give it a thumbs up or a heart or a, a comment back. Um, I really appreciate every single one of you, I really do. So it's time for the giveaway and if you've seen my Instagram stories you'll know that the hat wasn't big enough because there's so many names so I've put it in a box and it's a clear box so you can see literally I do promise I have everybody's name in that hat so thank you so much for entering and good luck everyone now if you don't win this time don't worry because I will do another giveaway soon okay here we go here we go over to James <laughs> good luck everybody <laughs> <laughs> I'm the winner. This is really fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Winner number one. Here we go. I'm going to do okay. So I can't read this very well, but I think it's Viva Goodsman's Viva Goodsman's and Art. So I'll show you. So you can see that. And the comment they left was put my name in the hat, please. Vivica. So it's Vivica Goodmanson Art. Well done. That's well, the first winner. Well done, congratulations. <laughs> okay. Let's go deep for this one. <laughs> the hat just wasn't big enough because we couldn't rummage like this. No. We wanted to swish them round. Uh, where is it? Even closed his eyes. That one. that one. Okay. So this is. Shiro Bear Studio, put my name in the hat, please. Congratulations. Second winner. Well done. So, well done, guys. And thanks to James, who pulled the names out of the hat. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pin a comment to this video. So, it'll be the top comment underneath the video. And if you're a winner, so one of the two winners, can you comment I am a winner and then I will get in touch with you of how we can swap addresses without you leaving it in a public place and then I'll post off your prints. So I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks so much for watching, have a really great weekend, lots of love and virtual hugs and I will see you in the next one, bye for now. you